today's lesson, pag-uusapan naman natin ang relationship ng central angle at ang kanyang intercepted arcs. So, ano ba yung intercepted arcs? When we say intercepted arc, it is the arc opposite to an angle. Ano ibig sabihin ng opposite? Sa Tagalog, siya yung katapat ng angle na yun. Okay? So, in the figure, we have two central angles. Okay? So, we have angle AOC and we also have angle B. O, C. Ano ba ang intercepted arc ng bawat angle na ito? So, yung angle A, O, C. Ang katapat niya na arc ay itong arc A, C. Okay, so we have this arc A, C as the intercepted arc. Ano naman ang intercepted arc ng angle B, O, C? Yung angle B, O, C, ang intercepted arc naman niya itong arc B, C kasi yun yung katapat niya na arc. Ang relationship ng central angle at ang kanyang intercepted arc ay madedescribe natin using this theorem. The measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. For example, uh, let's say the, ang the measure of angle BOC is equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, the measure of its intercepted arc, yung katapat niya na arc, is also 45 degrees. Okay? Ngayon, ano naman yung measure ng arc AC? Dahil yung AB ay diameter, we can say that arc ACB is a semicircle. At alam naman natin na ang semicircle, ang measure niya is equal to 180 degrees. So, yung uh, lesson na yun ay nasa video description below. Ngayon, ano naman yung measure ng arc AC? Para natin makuha yung measure ng arc AC, ay ima-minus natin yung 45 degrees sa 180 para makompleto natin yung arc AC plus arc CB is equal to 180 degrees dahil yung dalawang arcs na iyon ang bumubuo sa semicircle. So, 180 degrees minus 45 degrees is equal to okay, so is equal to 135 degrees. Okay, so, we have measure of angle AOC here. So, dahil itong 135 degrees ang measure ng arc AC, yung katapat niya na angle, kabaligtaran lang niya, is 135 degrees as well. Ayan. So, meron tayong 135 degrees is equal to 45 degrees is equal to 45 degrees. Ito rin is equal to 45 degrees. Kung makakakita kayo ng symbol na ganito, let's say M of angle AOC is equal to 135 na lang siya. Understood na na degrees siya kasi nga, we have your angle. Okay? So, pag nakakita kayo ng ganitong symbol, M dun sa unahan ng angle, ng arc, ay tinatanggalan natin yung degrees. Bago tayo magsagot ng problem na related sa intercepted arcs at saka yung central angle, let's have first a recall ng inyong grade 8 geometry. We have here, vertical angles are congruent. Pag sinabi natin vertical angles, dun sa magka-cross, Okay, so yung magkatapat na iyon ay congruent, magkatapat na angle, katulad dito. So, meron tayong dalawang line segment na nag-cross. So, yung 100 degrees, ka-vertical niya yung nasa katapat niya, yung right side niya, ito. Okay, ka-vertical niya iyon. So, yung 80 degrees, ka-vertical niya itong nasa baba. So, yung dalawang angle na magka-vertical, sila ay congruent. Pag sinabi nating linear pair, sila ay supplementary. Okay, pag sinabi nating supplementary, The sum of the measure of the two angles is 180 degrees kasi nga yung linear pair ay nabuo dito sa straight line na ito. Okay, so 20 degrees plus 160 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Gagamitin natin ang properties na iyan pagsasagot ng uh, problem related to this circle. Let us now solve this problem. In circle T, if angle VTW is equal to 56 degrees, and angle WTX is equal to 44 degrees, find arc YZ, angle YTX, and uh, arc VZ. So, sa pagsasolve ng problem na related sa geometry, kailangan muna natin i-analyze yung figure at saka yung mga related properties na napag-aralan nyo nung previous grade level at saka nyo i-apply yung, yung napag-aralan nyo na property ngayon. Katulad nung binanggit ko kanina yung about sa vertical angles and about sa linear pair. So yung bago natin na pag-aralan na ngayon na property is that the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. 
So, to solve the problem in this circle, kailangan mo nating ilagay yung given a measurement. So, angle VTW, VTW is equal to 56 degrees. And angle WTX is equal to 44 degrees. Ayan. Kaya, bago natin makuha itong mga measure na ito, okay, so, i-analyze muna natin yung figure. So, itong angle uh, VTW, ka-vertical niya ito. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, vertical angles are congruent, so, ito ay 56 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, angle, oh, wala naman tayong hinahanap na YTX, uh, YTZ. Next, opposite nito, 56 degrees. Okay, so, opposite nito, central angle, 44. So, 56 plus 44, itong arc na ito, is equal to, ah, uh, is equal to 100 degrees. So, mula dito hanggang dito sa x, 100 degrees, ang natitira na lang na arc na ito is 80 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, itong angle na ito ay 80. Okay? Ngayon, kung ito ay 56 degrees, anong measure nitong katapat niya? So, this is also 56 degrees using the property of uh, central angle at its intercepted arc. At itong arc na ito ay 56, ang natitira na ito dahil semicircle itong VZY, i-minus lang natin yung 56 sa 180, uh, so we have 124 degrees. Okay, so dahil meron na tayong measurement niyan, what is the measure of arc YZ? So arc YZ here is 56 degrees. Yan, angle YTX, YTX is equal to 80 degrees. And arc VZ, kasi arc VZ ito, is equal to 124 degrees. So, itong arc VZ, okay, pwede niya at natin siyang makuha using addition here. So, 80 plus 44 is equal to 144 dahil ka-vertical ng angle VTZ itong angle WTY. So, magka-vertical sila, kaya itong measure nito ay measure din itong 124 at katapat niya itong arc na ito kaya siya ay 124 degrees. So hindi tayo uh, naka base sa isang solution lamang. Pwede tayo magkaroon ng uh, more than one solution depende dun sa ating problem. Sa pagsasolve ng problem sa geometry, may times na hindi tayo bibigyan ng figure kundi i-describe lamang siya katulad nito. Okay? So in circle A, ang basa natin dito circle A, Uh, line segment PR is a diameter. If angle, M of angle QAR is equal to 2X plus 5 and M of angle QR is equal to X plus 25, find M of arc PQ. So, yung symbol natin na M dyan ay, ang ibig sabihin nun ay measure. Ngayon, wala tayong drawing, kaya kailangan natin siyang i-drawing based on this description. So, sabi rito, in circle A, that means the center is at point A. Next, PR is a diameter. Ibig sabihin, yung P at saka R ay dumaan sa center. Let's say this one. PR is a diameter. If M of angle QAR, wala naman tayo dito nakitang Q, kaya lalagyan natin ito ng Q. Let's say this one is point Q. And this one is a central angle. If M of angle QAR is equal to 2X plus 5, yung central angle natin. And M of QR is equal to X plus 25. This is the intercepted arc. Find the measure of arc PQ. So, itong arc PQ ang hinahanap natin. Kaso, meron tayong variable na X. Kasi nga, sa geometry, involved na rin ang algebra. Dahil dyan, kailangan nating uh, umisip ng property para masolve yung variable na x. Okay, so, ang target natin dito ay masolve yung variable na x para maipalit natin siya doon sa measurement. Ngayon, kaaaral-aral lang natin kanina that the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So, we have the, me the central angle here. Therefore, the measure of angle QAR, the central angle, is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc, which is the measure of arc QR. So, gamit ang equation na ito, isosolve natin yung value ng x. So, anong measure ng angle QAR? Meron tayo rito ang given, which is 2x plus 5 is equal to, what is the measure of arc QR? x plus 
5. And then solve for x, this will become 2x, and then lipat ito, minus x is equal to 25, lipat yung 5, minus 5. Okay? So 2x minus x is equal to x is equal to 25 minus 5 is equal to 20. Therefore, the value of x here is 20. Ngayon, anong measure ng QAR? Para natin makuha yung measure ng angle QAR, ipasubstitute natin yung value ng x. So, measure of angle QAR is equal to 2x plus 5 is equal to 2 times 20 plus 5 is equal to 40 plus 5 is equal to 25. Okay, so the measure of angle QAR is equal to 25 degrees. Ayan, mali pala, 45 degrees. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito ay 45. Actually, pwede naman natin gamitin yung QR dito. Dahil 20 plus 25 is also equal to 45 degrees. O, ganun din siya. This is 45 degrees. Ngayon, ano ang measure ng arc PQ? So, may 45 tayo rito para makumpleto yung 180 rito. Ayan, kulang tayo ng... 135 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of arc PQ is equal to 135. Okay? So, sa pagsasolve ng problems talaga sa geometry, kailangan-kailangan nating i-analyze yung figure kasi hindi palaging ganito yung given na given agad yung central angle at saka yung kanyang intercepted arc and then equate, equate, equate agad tayo. Hindi. Kailangan natin siyang i-analyze talaga para malaman natin ano ba i-equate ba natin siya. Kailangan bang gumamit pa tayo ng ibang property. Kailangan ba natin gamitin yung vertical angle, linear pair at iba't iba pang properties ng geometry.